Hi, my name's Alan, and welcome to another episode of Affinity TV, where we give you bite-sized chunks to keep your learning simple. Today, we're going to take a quick look at organizing and storing your assets. Now, I've come across this great app, it's called Lingo, and it helps you with organizing your photos, illustrations, icons, colors, or any other visual assets that you guys have saved somewhere on your Mac, and your folders, or on your email somewhere. The app lets you drag and drop from Affinity Designer or Affinity Photo into the app for saving and using later. A great feature of the app is that you can actually create a team account so you can share visuals with each other. It also has like a web-based dashboard so you're able to find and retrieve your assets online. Now, the concept with Lingo is that it can help you as a designer find the right assets when you really need them rather than having to dig down through the finder on your Mac, searching through your folders or searching through your emails, trying to figure out where they are, if they're there at all. So let's take a quick look at it. So here's their website. It's called lingoapp.com. There's some great information on there and they have a really, really cool video. So play it, watch it, and you'll find out some more information about the Lingo application. And if I just scroll down, it shows you how you can add your visuals and you can sync and share your, your assets and it also gives you 100 free icons included with inside of the application. Now if I scroll back to the top and click on pricing, so you can choose an account for an individual or a team. There's the personal account which is free and you can click on the download uh, button or you can go pro which allows you to add guests to your kits or you can go for a team account. And the great thing is, with some of these, you can try it free for 30 days. And if I just scroll down towards the bottom, there's some FAQs here and some questions about where your assets are stored, what type of files does it support, um, and using the app. So go check it out. So I've already got it installed, so I'm going to switch over to it. So I've got Affinity Designer open up on the left-hand side and the Lingo app on the right-hand side. So you get this Welcome to Lingo kit included in the app once you have downloaded it. And essentially how it works is you create a kit, Inside of that kit, you create groups. So essentially a folder with subfolders. So with the Welcome to Lingo kit, inside of here these groups, I can double click on one of these. And it just gives you some quick tips on the best way to use the application. And here we go, you also have your 100 free icons um, courtesy of the NAM project. So to get started, up here by my name, I can click on the plus icon to create a new kit and you can type in a name. In my case, I've created the icon set and I get this little circle to the left of it to show you that it's an actual kit. And next to the name of the kit, I can actually click on the second plus icon, which allows me to create a new group. So I click on that and I'm gonna type in a name and just press enter. So inside of my kit for the icon set, I've got a solid group and a non-solid. The solid is one of the groups that I worked on earlier. So if I click on non-solid, it allows me now to add visuals. I can either click on the plus icon and locate and find where they are, or straight from Affinity Designer, I can select one of my icons. Let's select this icon here. Press Command-C to copy. Click back inside of the Lingo app and Command-V, and then it pastes the icon inside of the group. Now back inside of Affinity Designer, I have a whole set of icons here. What if I wanted to include all of them? Well, I could select them one by one and copy and paste them all. Or I can just come up to my export persona, come down to my layers, let's select all of these separate icons here and we're gonna create some slices from them. Let's click create slice, have them selected here and I'm going to choose the, uh, I'm going to go for the SVG for web preset and export selected and save them to a folder on my desktop. So then back inside of Lingo, I can click on a plus to add them to the group that I want to. And there we go. I can select all of those icons that I've exported. And there we go. And they import and then upload them to the cloud for me. Another thing is, if I double click on one of these, I can add a note, I can also add some information about this asset, I can also add some tags. So in this case, I'm gonna delete this tag and add another one and type mail. 
And I think I've got another one down here somewhere. There we go, double click. And let's add a tag. Actually, no, let's, let's change the name instead. So when I search for it, it then comes up with all of the assets that are tagged or named with the word mal in there. So if I go back to Affinity Designer, and let's say I was working on a project on App Design and I wanted to put an email icon in here, I can then select one of these and click and drag back inside of Affinity Designer. And let's put that in place. And let's just change the color so it matches. And let me just make this a bit smaller. So Lingo is a great way for storing and organizing your assets. If I double click on one of these again, I can mark it as a favorite. Or if I had the pro account or the team member account, I can then share this with someone else. I can also click on this icon and archive this or delete permanently if I wanted to, or just find out some more information about this asset. And another great thing about Lingo is that it automatically generates file type alternatives so you can quickly use your visuals in any application. So I only want to also create another kit for my stock images. There we go. And inside I've got these different groups for different stock images that I like to use. So if I just come out of full screen mode at the moment for this, I actually have another folder on my desktop that I want to add to my stock images. So I can also click and drag this folder on top of the kit stock images. You can see it comes up with the word new group. And let's type in a name. And then again, I can add some notes about the actual group itself if I wanted to. Or just press enter. And there we go. And then it starts to import and upload those assets for me. So anytime I want to go back to it, I can click on the kit and see all the groups, or I can just go to a particular group. Now do bear in mind that when I import these assets or click and drag these assets inside of Lingo, it does make a copy for me. So I could go back to my desktop and then delete this folder if I wanted to. So go check out and download this great little app and visually organize your assets. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon on another episode of Affinity TV.